Hi guys, so it's Friday night and um, I am just getting off work and I decided it's time for a quick thrift. I'm over here at the Goodwill on Racetrack Road in Fort Walton Beach today. So we're gonna see what we can find in there. If you've never been to this Goodwill, um, you know, each one of our Goodwills has got a, like a little bit of a different flavor. And um, this one is no exception. I always find stuff here. They have lots and lots of clothes. Um, I'm not, I don't necessarily love how it's set up because the hard goods are on top of the clothing racks, but it is what it is. And um, this is always good for a thrift for me here locally. Anyways, if you can find the Waffle House, there's a Waffle House right there. That's at the end of Racetrack Road here in Fort Walton then you can find this Goodwill. It just sits right behind the Waffle House. Okay, I'm not sure why my clips keep cutting off my last um, few words of my sentence. I'm gonna have to be aware of that while I'm filming in the future. But here we are at the Goodwill in Fort Walton Beach. I grab a cart and right away, I start in on some ladies shirts. It's three for $12.99. Now this Goodwill here does not have a color of the day or any specific special discounts. Um, they used to have a senior day uh, years ago, but they stopped offering that discount, unfortunately, because <laughs> I would qualify for that now. I saw this Billabong t-shirt and I grabbed that. It will fit my son Dylan. It'll be the perfect size for him for the fall, probably getting a little too warm for it now. Maybe in the early mornings, he works for UPS and uh, he loads trucks. So <laughs> that might actually be good for him for those cooler early morning hours. Anyways, I don't think $4 is bad to pay for a t-shirt or a nice blouse. So if you're looking for yourself, it's a decent price. I found this Magellan fishing shirt that's a, a good name brand, and so I didn't hesitate to put that into the cart. We have an exciting announcement. Um, our eBay store is up and running. We don't actually have a store yet proper, but we do have listings now active on eBay. I have about 60 listings so far, and I'm working diligently every day to put up more wonderful things. <laughs> So I will put a link to the eBay, uh, well, to the eBay auctions and items I have listed in the description below. If you'll give it a chance and check it out, we sure would appreciate it. It is, after all, going to allow me to continue to do what I love, which is thrifting. Woohoo! We love thrifting. This shirt was so cute. It really had, a, like, I loved how it shimmered. And back in my rock and roll days, I would have totally worn that on stage. All right, here are some hand-painted tumblers. Somebody did these tumblers um, and put decals and things on them. I thought they were kind of fun, but they were not, like, particularly well done. So if you'd made these, I'm sorry. <laughs> but... Um, I thought so. they weren't all too bad. Like this Bruno one from um, Disney's Encanto was pretty well done. And I liked this one here too. It says Book Witch on it. And I thought about buying it for one of my little darklings. But I decided to leave it because I really just don't know anymore what those girls like. <laughs> and I found a Bath and Body Works uh, pedestal candle holder. For their three wick candles this is always a safe bet if you can pick them up for under three dollars there's always some resale value there on those that was a pretty little trinket box there was this cool clock that had a dark academia vibe and it was like um a jewelry box a little flocked drawer there this is a ribbed pencil holder dark wood i thought it was kind of nice it also had that dark academia um, vibe for $1.99 I decided to pop that into the cart this is a studio piece of pottery it 
um, was a hand-built slab piece that was then hand-painted, glazed. Um, it was only $1.99, so I popped that into the cart. I think that was a pretty good price for a piece of hand-signed studio pottery. I was tempted to get that little wood soap dispenser. I found this nice little piece of coral. It was also $1.99. They really like that price for some reason. And um, I thought it made a nice little curiosity. So I grabbed that. This was a little hedgehog uh, mainstays. And there was actually two of them in the store. I, I ran into the other one um, on my way out the door. Somehow they got separated. This is a pair of beer steins. It looks from Holloman Air Force Base. Now that looks like a New Mexico insignia on there. So I don't know if that's in New Mexico. Um, if you know, please pop the answer in the comments for me. I thought they were too specific to pick up for resale. That was just a light plastic bowl, nothing special. There were these three little pretty uh, brown glass candle holders. And they had the lovely modeled effect to them, kind of almost looked like smoky quartz. I put the three of them so they could be appreciated together. I decided not to pick them up. I can't decide which side of the aisle to stay on. This looked like a piece of Etruscan pottery to me, although, um, I mean, it looked very old, but I think it was a somebody's art project studio piece or something, maybe for school. It didn't look really well done. Um, this is a elephant bookend. I loved the color on it. There was only one of them. Uh, I thought it was really cute. I popped it in the cart, but I ultimately changed my mind later and I put it back on the shelf. Then I found this cute little ship in a bottle. You do see these around here at the souvenir shops and the tourist traps. So I know that it's not a particularly expensive piece, um, but it's very coastal, has great coastal charm to it. So I picked that one up. Then I saw this crystal bowl. It's a no-name bowl. Um, it is leaded crystals, still in its box. Probably not a lot of resale value without it being a name brand. I decided to leave that for someone else. This cute little mailbox was tempting. And then I saw these little resin bears. They were originally marked $24.99. And um, I asked the lady how much they were. And she said $8. So um, I passed on them. And then I saw this little doggy tile. And he just had such soulful eyes. I said, oh, I have to have him. He, was, he just had a lot of terrific character. And the lady came back and told me $6 on the bears. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'll take them. And they are worth about $30 when I comped them out. So that was reasonable. This is a piece of Wang's um, China. Wang's is a name that I am not super familiar with. I don't think their prices are, you know, resale value mostly in the like 10 to $30 range. And that one had a big chip on the front, so I left it behind. Um, I might not necessarily in the future. I need to look them up individually, I suppose. And if it's a really nice piece, then popular theme, I might pick it up. This was an interesting, very thick old looking bottle to me um it had that nice kind of uh patina that old bottles have so i popped it in the cart very heavy if you know what kind of bottle that is please leave a message in the comments i've asked a few people and um their you know opinions vary on it <laughs> and i'm looking for nightgowns and i saw this lovely robe oh my gosh it's beautiful it's H I. It's H and M, which is um, obviously a well-known brand, and it was a designer for H and M. 
please pardon my thumb. I'm still learning how to hold my phone and shop at the same time. But um, I did look up comps online and they're selling pretty well. I popped her into the cart. Yep, and there you go, like $38 on the used market. So that's not bad. Then I found this really gorgeous little brass lamp. It is solid brass. It's a piano lamp. Vintage for sure. This one, it was functioning. Everything worked on it. It has these little nuts on the side that you unscrew to uh, reposition the arm. And that's kind of nice that it's adjustable. You can get the, the light right where you want it. Good little desk light, task lighting. This is obviously a mid-century lamp that I'm holding in my hands here. Very tall. Didn't have a partner. And heavy and would be hard to ship. This was a $48 KitchenAid, KitchenAid um, Artisan Mixer. As you know, that's a really great brand. $48 was a a reasonable price on it. Then I found this little cherished bear, cherished teddies, $1.99. I could tell she was something special and she had a mark on the bottom, so I put her in the cart. Not familiar with that brand, but right away I could tell they were nice. And there's the comp on the bears, the other bears. Really tall, funky lamp. Then I found these picture frames. This is an Art Nouveau style picture frame it's modern it is not actual art nouveau but i liked it and the style was really pretty and i found this nice little pewter frame with rose pattern on it very cottagey i uh, thought it could go cottagey or witchy i was fascinated for a moment with these enamel looking um picture frames especially the blue one with the shells because i thought it looked kind of nautical with the shell mo motif on the corners, nice velvet backing, in good shape, brand new frames, but I decided to leave them for somebody else. The jewel tones were very pretty, but maybe a little too bright for me. I picked up this little cottagey looking picture frame with uh, the relief style flowers on it because I thought I could probably paint it and make it more to my liking. Some sherry glasses. Those are little crystal glasses. Very pretty. And then I spied these little mid-century tumblers. Now, I'm not crazy about the idea of shipping glasses, but I know that there's a way to do it. And um, these were just so pretty with the um, enameled butterfly on the front that was in such good shape. There's gold fuming on the rim there, you can see, and it um, had sort of worn a little bit in spots, so I could tell that they were very old, most likely from the early 1970s, maybe the mid-70s with that gold fuming. I just thought they were lovely, and I picked them up. I did see a comp for them on, like, Mercari, but there's not, it's not like a ton of them out there. These little lanterns were uh, interesting to me, but they were not particularly well made. I liked the filigree one actually better than this one that I'm fumbling with. I couldn't figure out how to get the door closed and it was very lightweight. It looked like a mass production piece. This is an interesting piece. It looks like a piece of driftwood that somebody had formed into a bottle maybe a piece of decor from a condo or something i don't know it was a little too rustic for my taste so i decided to leave it but i thought it, very interesting piece and probably someone who has a booth somewhere would love that piece to pick up for resale in one of their coastal themed booths if i had a booth i would have picked it up but then when I lifted up this bowl, I thought, oh, wow, this is very heavy. This has to be leaded crystal. And sure enough, it is. This is a lead crystal piece. Um, it's made by Mikasa, which is a very popular brand. They have a lot of pieces out there. 
but the prices were somewhere between $25 and $60 online on that piece. And I just liked the way it looked. I just thought it was very pretty and coastal and fun, and you could do a number of different things with it. That's a little Pier 1 soup bowl. Normally I would pick up Pier 1, but I did not know it was Pier 1 until later when I was standing in line next to a gentleman who had decided to buy it, and we both looked it up together, and that's when I discovered it's worth about $22. <laughs> they cover up the logo a lot of times at Goodwill with stickers so that you can't tell what brand it is. So the only way you're going to know is to actually do a live Google search on it. This takes time and it kind of puts you in the way of other shoppers. You have to stop what you're doing and shop and look up a Google item. And uh, I really think it would be better if they tried to not cover up the logos of things because you could move on faster or you could make your decision faster. That was a cute little enameled frog that I found and it was in great condition so I popped it in the cart and then I saw this guy in this whole collection of like bulldog statues and figurines, boxers or what, I think these are boxers. I put him in the cart but I ended up leaving him behind because I discovered that he had a bad crack and a repair job on one of his rear legs. This, I think, was part of this dog's memorial. It's actually a piece of granite, and the face is etched into it, and it says on the side there, Winston Churchill. At first, I thought it was the artist's signature, and then I realized it was the dog's name. I put it back. Here is a nice set of Vidrio San Miguel. These are tumblers, $2.99 a piece, a little bit uh, too steep for the resale market, but what a lovely set if somebody had a living room or a dining room that needed that color. I could not tell what brand these were or if they were something special or not. Little serving bowls, serving pieces. This little beer stein was cute, but I do not know enough about beer steins to take a chance on one. I'm sure it didn't stay there long. <laughs> the pretty little doll. A tattoo Captain Morgan tumbler. I have not seen any more of those on eBay. I've seen the shot glasses, not the tumblers. I sh probably should have picked that up. That probably would have been about a $15 item on eBay. The tattoo glass. Pretty little clock with an eagle on top. And then I saw her. Oh my gosh, I fell in love. She is fabulous. All glass beaded. Beautiful piece. Well, well made. No problems with her. She's in good condition. Just needs a little detangling. Um, she has a hanging um, fishing wire to hang by. And uh, she was $6. So I popped her in the cart. I was absolutely thrilled with her. <laughs> what a coastal charm that is. These glasses are still there. I think they might be Gibson or Libby. I'm guessing probably Gibson. Then I found this set of two Dansk plates. Dansk, as you know, is a really good name. They are a Danish company. Um, they make uh, really high quality pieces. We used to have a dance store out at Sandestin at the market shops or out at uh, Silver Sands. Yes, yeah, Silver Sands at Sandestin in the Northwest Florida area here. It's no longer there. I'm not sure if they still have brick and mortar shops, but um, I look for dance pieces. Here's another Cherish Teddy. I actually found a couple pieces by them while I was here. This is a beautiful little shell topper on top of a piece of cork. It looks like something you would pop in the top of a storage canister. I just think it was neat as a curiosity or something to pop up on a Sea Life themed shelf. Very coastal. 
a pair of uh, salt and pepper shakers. They are actual wood, very cabin core, have a very rustic cabin-y feel to them. Here's another crystal bowl. I'm always checking now. Since I found the Lalique bowl a few weeks ago, uh, I do not sleep on the crystal anymore. I'm always looking for a signature or for an insignia on them. And also, of course, judging whether they're very well made, what the weight is, if they have a lot of clarity to them, how are they shining in the light, all the types of things that would distinguish a really good piece of crystal. There's the little coaster. Another little crystal bowl. That one was just a kind of a mass produced piece. And here are more of those cherished bears. A beautiful little hand blown glass egg for $2.99. I definitely loved that. Put, and it's heavy. Put that in the cart for sure. Nice heavy one. Okay, you guys, wow. <laughs> I picked a whole cart full of stuff at the Goodwill um, tonight. I'm really just shocked at how much stuff I found in there tonight. And um, yeah, I got like a bunch of shirts and a nice robe and a pair of mid-century glasses that were really cute. You'll see those all in the hall. Uh, that interesting little studio piece of um, pottery uh, vase, a couple pairs of uh, two dance plates, and uh, another Bath and Body Works candle holder, this fabulous vintage brass lamp for only $4, which was a steal. Um, I found that really big Nautilus shell looking thing. I don't even know what it is or how much it's worth. Um, the wonderful beaded mermaid uh, comps are looking good on her. So I had another successful pick tonight at the Goodwill. Stay tuned for the haul. It's time for the haul, y'all. Hey, Dave's eating an apple. <laughs> well, I couldn't resist the call, the allure of going to Goodwill again today. So we're going to try to get through this haul a little bit quickly. I really wasn't planning on thrifting today, but it was another one of those things where I just felt like go to the Goodwill in Fort Walton and you will find your treasure there. And I was like shocked. I found so much stuff. So um, the first thing that I found that is so exciting are these old 8-track tapes. They're in very bad condition. Who knows if they work or not, but we've got The Grateful Dead and Jimi Hendrix. So um, pop a comment if you have any idea for me how much those might be worth. I'm going to list those, I think, as an auction on eBay and just disclose all of the condition issues and hope for the best. I got this little um, bear statue. She ended up charging me $5.99 for it. And um, it's worth about 30 bucks. I found this little enameled frog. Look how cute he is. I loved his color, first of all, is what drew me to him. I saw him sitting there and I noticed he had his little crown and he didn't look like he was missing any jewels or anything. Um, so I got no clue on him either, but I popped him in the cart because he was only $2.99 and how cute is he? I think um, I'm, I'm considering that a boon because I saved a frog from a certain death yesterday in uh, the swimming pool of my client that I take care of. So here is this wonderful little um, dog tile I guess, what is he, a boxer? Um, anyways, this is by a company called Lanka Tiles, with Lanka wall tiles, made in Sri Lanka. Um, this is not really wrought iron. It's meant to look it, but I think it's kind of cottagey and cool. I found this nice little curiosity here, this piece of coral for $1.99. Um, there was a bunch of these cherished bears, cherished teddies, 
That one was $3.99. This one was $2.99. This one was $2.99. And this one was $1.99. And they're worth um, upwards of $20 each. So I think that was a good deal. Um, I did look up all of them and I left some of them there that weren't quite worth $20. There were some that were, you know, 12, 14, 15. Um, so I left those there for someone else to discover. This is all I picked from those. I found this gorgeous little um, hand-blown glass egg. Um, it's good and heavy, and it was only $2.99. You know I'm a sucker for hand-blown glass. So no telling if it was a part of a set or whatever, but it was just pretty. I had to have it. There's this little um, wood container. I think this might have been one of those things that holds the tea utensils for a little Chinese tea set, but I liked its style. It's ribbed. It could be, uh, it would make a nice pencil holder and it has that dark academia vibe that I love. So I picked that up. I found this pair of mid-century little um, Butterfly tumblers, they are old. You can see the gold fuming there on the, uh, you know, it's half worn off, but they're in really nice shape. There's not a lot of scratches or anything and they are definitely mid-century. So probably, let's see, I paid buck 99 each. It's probably about 30 for the pair. Um, this fabulous beaded mermaid, you saw me pick her. There's nothing wrong with her. She just needs to be her hanger to be detangled from her hair and needs to be fluffed up a bit. She's not even mud, like dusty. So um, she's fabulous and I'll, I, she's worth around 50 bucks on eBay. I paid, uh, what did I pay? I don't know what I paid. I think I paid like $6 for her. I think she might've had five or six bucks on her. Found this great little studio piece. Very, it looks very 80s mod to me. Um, it is like a, a slab, a slab va vase. It does have a signature on the bottom, but I can't make it out. And um, I don't know, definitely handmade. So I picked that up and it was $1.99. So that was a good deal. Um, then for um, my curiosity table or what have you, I found this nice little mounted shelf. Actually, I mean, I guess that he would go inside a jar or something. That's a good point. Like, I'll bet you he would look good as a cork on top of a jar full of shells. So maybe I'll find a jar to go with him at some point. And then, of course, if you're going to have mermaids and seashells, you got to have a ship in the bottle. So, so cool on that little ship on the bottle there. And then I found a Minnie Mouse mug. Good morning, sunshine. I don't think she's old, but she was only a, a, a $1.99 was the... Um, Actual good, Goodwill price, there it is, inside. Yeah, buck ninety nine. So I thought I'd buy her and put her back with the rest of the mugs. And then we found again another Bath and Body Works pillar holder here um, for two ninety nine. So these can be worth anywhere from like sixteen to twenty bucks in the resale market. Bath and Body Works. Um, you know, if somebody knocks one over and it was their favorite thing or somebody bought, special bought it for them or what have you, they'd be looking to replace. So that's why I get those. Then we have these two dance plates. I still have to look them up, so I'll pop comps in here at the end of the video, but they do have the dance maker's mark on the bottom. That lovely sable brown color matte glaze that they have. Um, coming around. Oh, yep. There was, uh, clothing wise, I found this H and M robe. And, um, when I comped it out and looked it up, it was about a $27 piece at resale. I think she looks very fabulous. Um, and I just was drawn to it right away because of the weight and the quality of it. I could feel it when I was going through the rack. You guys saw me going through the rack. She also has a very dark cottage core vibe, so I do love it. And 
coming around the table. Sorry, there's my new packing peanuts. We're getting going on eBay. There's this very old bottle. I gotta sit for a second. It's been a long day. Um, yeah, this thing is heavy and it's not hand blown. It's obviously seamed pressed glass. There must have been some sort of top stopper that went in the top. You can see it's way bigger than like eight inches. So I don't think it's the syrup bottle that looks like this. I don't know what it is. If you have any idea on this vintage bottle, please tell me. You can see how thick it is there and even the wrinkles in the glass from the from the actual molding process makes me feel like this thing is from the 1940s or 50s. Um, you see as I turn it, the that you can see the wrinkles in it. Um, I just felt like it was something special. I paid $2.99 for it. This little um, very heavy piece of leaded crystal um, Nautilus. Oh my God, this thing's heavy. It's like at least 10 pounds or like at least eight pounds, okay? It's big um, and heavy. It's got that Nautilus pattern. Turns out it is a piece of Mikasa and they're selling anywhere from 25 to $60 on eBay. So all over the place really with the sale on them, but Again, a really great piece for a coastal home, and um, I'd be tempted to keep this one. I think it would look fabulous with like little ornaments in it, or just fill it with seashells. This one looks like it might have actually had sand in it. It's still got some some dirt on the outside, like somebody may have had it displaying shells already. Um, I found this great little um, picture frame here. Um, I think for one of my dark cottage sales, it's going to look really cute. I mean, it could go cottage core, but I think I want to paint it. Um, it's just a resin, uh, molded resin piece. But with that, you know, with the way those flowers stick up, I think it'll look really fabulous um, painted in a darker color and made a little spookier looking. Then there's this really pretty little Art Nouveau looking frame here. I just love that for a boudoir. Hello, I know you see my reflection. This is not any, like, even pewter. This is just a regular, you know, this is a modern piece. It's not super heavy, but the style on it was super cute. I had to have that. Um, and $2.99 on the picture frames there. And then there was this one with the, with the adorable, sweet little roses on it. Also very cottagey almost witchy looking, almost green witch looking to me, $2.99, uh, interesting aesthetic. So there was that one. Um, so that's a, a really happy pick for me. <laughs> now there were some clothing. I did pick up clothes because you saw at the beginning that you can get uh, three shirts for $12.99. So I got this lady's Magellan fishing shirt in excellent condition. There's a fishing shirt. I focus mostly on size large or extra large just for sellability. Then I found uh, this Billabong t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt, Billabong. I'll probably give that one to my son or to my husband. There was this really nice, um, sort of panty velvet. Um, this is by Belle, Belle by Kim Gravel. Kim Gravel is the, the designer. This one is like new. I can't tell if it's ever been worn. It's just in really excellent shape and it's probably gonna fetch around $26, $27. So that was, you know, $4 shirt for, that'll fetch probably around 26 or 27. Then I got this um, Knox Rose. That's a Target brand, as I've come to learn. But I still love all the little detailing on it with the little pretty ribbons. This one's kind of tie-dye and has lace. And I picked this one up for myself. So um, it's not in the best shape, but I think it'll be a fun shirt for me to wear. And I picked up this Loft t-shirt in a pretty denim blue. This one has the cutout shoulders, but they have like a little ruffle on them, on the cutout. So I thought that was interesting. 
And uh, yeah, that denim color blue is just ever popular. That's a classic. Then I have this beautiful Preston in New York um, sleeveless linen top. Very nice, very clean, Kelly green, very professional, lovely for spring and summer. Would look fabulous with like a pair of uh, flowered palazzo pants and just let the this be the simple elegant and let the pants be the star of the show. Um, so this one was very nice. I thought high quality and it comped out well when I looked it up. And then just a really simple Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Cute little Tommy shirt, very preppy. Love the almost the bandana style pattern on that. So that will be coming to the eBay store soon. I have not started listing clothing yet. I have um, actually started with listings on eBay and I'll uh, pop in there. Um, at, I don't know if I can put the link. I'll try to put the link, but um, I'll put the link in the description of this video for you guys that actually want to go and check out my eBay store. And um, I will also pop in a screenshot of what my sales total sales have been for the last week and a half, which is I've really only been up and running for about a week and a half. So I'm, we're off to a good start. You guys, I'm really excited. Oh, and then the last thing, of course, <laughs> I got to bring you in here. Sorry about the mess is this fabulous brass, um, table lamp. It's actually a piano lamp. I think what they call it it's heavy it's vintage you can tell by that old clear cord um it's got the the rocker switch on it and it works dave seen it right away he's like we're not getting rid of that we're keeping that <laughs> dave wants to keep it um anyways i like it i think it's really cool um it might be nice in the office the shade gets really hot though i'm just noticing that that the shade does get really hot and it does almost look like there's um, like there's some heat damage to the shade, but I'm sure it'll polish up beautifully. It looks very nautical to me. So like I say, we're going to be fighting over where, whether we keep it or sell it, <laughs> but it was only $4, $3.99 really for a vintage brass lamp. Gosh, you can't beat that. Okay guys. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying tuned this long and do go out, check out the eBay store and checked out, hang out to check out my, um, solds guys. Take care and keep on. <laughs>